Hello, the math lady. Today we're working on writing percents as fractions, part two. Well, let me refresh your mind what part one was. Part one was if we take a regular old percent, like 25%, a nice whole number, and convert that to a fraction simply by dropping the percent, putting it over 100, and then simplifying. So one fourth would be our fraction here. What happens when you don't have a nice whole number as your percent? Let's take a number like 66 and two-thirds percent. What do you do there? Well, here's the good news. The process is still the same. It just has a few extra steps. We're still going to drop the percent sign and put it over 100. Now, I know most of you just freaked out when you saw that. You're like, well, what am I supposed to do with that? Well, here's the good news. You know what to do with that. We're going to take our 66 two-thirds. And let's write out the divide by 100 in a different way that looks more familiar to you. Let's write it like that, because you know what to do there. Let's take this mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. 66 times 3 is uh, 198. So we're going to do 198 plus 2 is going to be 200 over 3. So that went to an improper fraction. Our division sign, we're going to flip that to a multiplication sign. You saw that when we do division of fractions. Now if that goes to a multiplication sign, what happens to the 100? Ah, we change it to its reciprocal. So it's going to be 1 over 100. And now we simplify. Well, 100 and 200 can be simplified. This is going to be a 2. And let's multiply across, we get 2 thirds. So 66 and 2 thirds reduces down, I should say 66 and 2 thirds percent reduces down to 2 thirds. Let's try another one. Let's try it with 3 and a third percent. If you can get this process down, you've got, you can do this for any percent because the process is always the same. We take it, we drop the percent, and we put it over 100. But that makes most of you guys freak out, right? Okay, so write it the long way. 3 and a third divided by 100. Now let's just turn it into a format that works easier for us. 3 times 3 is 9 and 1 is 10. So this goes to an improper fraction. Our division sign goes to a multiplication sign. Our 100 goes to a reciprocal. And now we can reduce 10 and 100. This goes to a 1, this goes to a 10. Let's multiply across. We get 1 over 30. That's our answer. Okay, so you see the process is the same. You still are putting it over 100. You just need to know what to do after you put it over 100. Okay, definitely try the practice problem so you can make sure you've got this for yourself. This is Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you.